The third day of the Targa New Zealand event provided more changes up and down the leaderboard and some entertainment for the assembled. Graham Drummond was lucky to escape with his production four-wheel drive lead after a spin for the crowd, all in the name of development. Well, I was just adjusting my brake bias as I was coming down that hill and the, we had it round the wrong way and uh, the RCN wanted to come in front of the front, unfortunately. Mark KB's chances of a classic win ended for sure when the left front wheel parted company oh, from the front strut right. earlier this morning. Uh, what's happened? Oh, OK, OK, mate. And just a little further up the road was where Mike Tubbs had his spin, which ended any chance of keeping the pressure on production two-wheel drive leader Martin Dippy. He'll be back in the morning if he can sort a couple of lower arms for the Beamer. After gaining valuable time on Lee Hopper, Hayden McKenzie grabbed second outright when the STI overheated, sending Hopper into service to suss out what looked like a dodgy thermostat. Unfortunate that Hopper's had the mechanical. We're sort of battling hard with him. Uh, Glenn's obviously still a long way in front, but uh, no, we're, we're sort of ticking along OK. And it's had an interesting day, a little, little bit of an off and, and things, but no, the car's still in one piece and, um, and looking good. Meantime, Jason Gill has been using his time on the road this week to get the hang of his V-Dub Polo R, and he's starting to see results, up to fifth in class by the end of the third day of competition. When we first came here, we were definitely well off the pace, and we started to, started to improve, improve as, the day, as the week goes on. So if we can keep improving, and then with his other areas, we can start working on with you know, power delivery and all that. So it is a work in progress, and we're enjoying it. It's a tough gig having to drive your favourite car around the New Zealand countryside, but with scenery like this, it's hardly a chore. It's just another day on the 25th anniversary Targa.